Hey, what it be? It's your boy, Dre OG. Welcome back to the OG family. Look, have you ever wondered what a million dollar home looks like across America? I know I have. I want to because one place I do, I, I, I really do want to move to is like California or something like that. And what's a, a big selling point for me is like, what type of home can I get for where I want to live at? So, you know what I'm saying? Look in the comments down below. In the comments down below, let me know where you would like to eventually retire and live just interesting to see where other people want to end up you know like myself i just want to be relaxing in a nice dope crib overlooking the city you know seeing all the lights and stuff below me with a you know a view of my pool just chilling bro minding my damn business that's all i want to do but look man set your own vibe let's get into this video one million dollars in the u.s housing market could have you settled into a tiny new york city apartment Absolutely or you not. could be enjoying a movie night in your Detroit mansion's cozy sunken living room. But Detroit, Million though. dollar homes around America can be vastly different, from fixer uppers in LA to homes with massive pools in Houston. There are desert hideaways in Phoenix that will blow your mind, yeah. and small but well located apartments in Miami oh, just minutes me. from the beach. From Las Vegas mansions to historic condos in Cleveland, which $1 million home is the most worth it? It's all about location in New York City. This $1 million Lincoln Square co-op is perched on the 20th Absolutely floor not. with views of the city and Hudson River through some fairly tiny windows. Thankfully, there's a balcony, a coveted commodity in NYC. The two-bedroom, one-bathroom apartment has some building perks. It gives you access what to perk? a gym, two laundry rooms, and a lobby that's staffed 24-7. But it'll cost you at least $22,000 per year in taxes alone. In Chicago, a one million. Absolutely not. <laughs> We're just going to start it off with that. Did y'all hear that? They said that like it was a good thing. A million dollars? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'm not going to be sharing my. I'm not going to be sharing a washer and dryer with a community, bro, paying that much money. Insane. <laughs> wow. A million dollar condo is nothing to scoff at. This three bedroom, three bathroom unit features hardwood floors and quartz countertops in its gourmet kitchen. There are new stainless steel appliances and a walk in closet. With 2,746 square feet of space, picturesque windows, and a balcony, the more than $21,000 you'll have to spend on taxes each year might just be worth it. $995,000 nice. in luxurious Los Angeles will get you a real fixer upper. This five bedroom. All right, y'all, look, I changed my mind and shit. You feel me? Like, uh, this, this whole side right here, I don't even want to go there no more. This just fucked it up for me. Bedroom, three-bathroom home is definitely in disarray, but the listing describes it as located in an up-and-coming neighborhood. Uh, With the state of L.A. real estate, a little remodeling could have this home worth millions in the next few years. It'll offer you almost nah, 2,000 square feet of space plenty to work with, and property taxes are a reasonable $7,000 per year. Your money will fare better in Detroit. Where Bro, 2,000 square foot, that ain't gonna get it for me, G. Like, that ain't gonna get it. For $1 million, we'll buy you a spacious mid-century mansion in one of the city's finest neighborhoods, Ooh. Palmer Woods. There are five bedrooms and an impressive seven bathrooms across a total of 5,075 square feet. You can enjoy a gourmet a kitchen, a spacious dining room, and a gorgeous sunken living room. The second floor boasts a master suite with a fireplace and walk-in closet. While the price is reasonable, the property taxes are high. They'll cost you over $26,000 per That's year. That's beautiful, though. One million dollars in I Atlanta will get you a spacious garage and 10-foot-high sure. ceilings. This almost 5,000-square-foot property has three bedrooms and three-and-a-half bathrooms. Features include a stunning sunroom, a bright patio, and a garage with space for three cars. Damn, you can make man. use of the home's multiple sitting rooms and bar, but the property will run you an annual bill of almost $20,000 in property taxes. Mm. For one million dollars hey bro yeah if y'all know them property taxes is insane out here in this world I mean, you see the trend you see the trend man they always gonna find a way to get some type of money out your damn pocket bro we pay we pay money for just spending money i mean 
Yeah, I ain't gonna catch. In the Golden City, you can get yourself a home with that classic San Francisco exterior. But inside, you'll find a modest home with small rooms and a very tiny backyard slash patio set up <laughs> out back. The home is just over 1,000 square feet with only two bedrooms and one bathroom. Thankfully, it has an updated kitchen and bathroom. Plus, taxes are pretty low. What's updated about just that green ass kitchen? What is updated about that green ass kitchen? That's not that's not gonna get it. They lost me too, man. Like I ain't going there either. It's in seven hundred dollars per year. The location is also great. It's in close proximity to Golden Gate Park. One million dollars will buy you plenty of space in Nashville, like this five bedroom, five bathroom home spread across five thousand square feet. That should it be has haunted, a though, bro. In the living area. They had slaves and shit, bro, in them houses. I don't look. I don't want no smoke a with none of that. And a balcony in the front, plus a patio in the back overlooking a massive backyard. The listing wants you to know it's the perfect place to add a pool. There's also a nice oversized garage, and it'll all cost you under ten thousand dollars in yearly taxes. This nine hundred fifty thousand dollar mansion in Phoenix hey. is desert perfection, with four bedrooms, three bathrooms, and three thousand eight hundred fifteen square feet of space. This Arizona hideaway will offer you plenty of privacy and spectacular surroundings. It's nestled in a private community called the Preserve and has a stunning outdoor space. There are covered patios, a fire pit, and by the backyard look out here too. Trails. The inside is decked out in Saltillo tiles with rich earth tones that complement the spacious rooms. It's located behind a gate, and yearly taxes are just six thousand four hundred and sixty dollars. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't beat that now. I'm telling you. Look, you get your bang for your buck. See, if you want to spend a meal. Or you could spend under a meal, bro, in some of these other states, bro. And that's why I tell you how to open your minds up, be open and receptive to like new information. Like you get more bang for your buck. You get different opportunities in different states. You just got to do your research and figure out where you want to be. Because that's one thing that changed a lot about me. Once I got out of my comfort zone and was out here in the world experiencing, you know, out here failing. Because you're going to fail a lot, man, before you, you're going to fail more than you succeed. So out here failing in the world and building myself up, man, and it opened my mind, opened my eyes up to like a bigger, a bigger plan for myself. I, I started to realize things, what I wanted to do with my future and stuff like that. It just does a lot for you. But you do get your bang for your buck out, you know. This $995,000 Las Vegas mansion is a spot of luxury oh. in Sin City. The four bedroom, four bathroom decent, mansion though. offers 3,387 square feet of space, including a designer kitchen and stunning bathrooms. Okay. There's also a gorgeous center courtyard, but the backyard is the property's highlight. There's a resort style heated pool with a spa, an outdoor kitchen, and a fire pit. In total, taxes come out to just over ten thousand dollars per year. That's not bad. Nine hundred ninety-five thousand. I thought that was gonna be worse. I right, changed my mind again. I go. Okay, I'll go over there too. That's lit. That's lit. Ten dollars in Miami is enough to buy this crisp white condo. It's not huge, but you oh, wow. can't beat these ocean views. It's just over 1,200 square feet with That's two nice. bedrooms and three bathrooms. But the real perk of this location is the building. It's located in the Biscayne Beach Building, which has a beach club with a swimming pool, sandy beach, and volleyball and tennis courts. The building also features a gym and spa. This unit in the sunny building costs about $11,000 per year in property hmm. taxes. That ain't bad. $995,000. You know what? That's retirement vibes right there. How y'all feeling about that one? That's definitely retirement vibes. Just overlooking, you know what I'm saying? All the clubs down below, the water, the beach, man, that's lit. Thousand dollars in Arlington, Peace. Vermont, will buy you a mansion surrounded by nature. This 18-acre property features a 4,748 square foot house with three bedrooms and five bathrooms. There's a billiards room, office, plenty of fireplaces, and a bathtub with views. There are patios overlooking the yard and mountains, plus a relaxing jacuzzi. You can take advantage of the huge kitchen and serene sunroom, but all this luxury will cost you over $16,000 a year in taxes. How That's not bad. That's for really for people that don't like people for real, for real. My level of not liking people ain't that high. Like, at least I like to see people. That's why I need a scenery. I just don't like to talk to you niggas all the time. Like, that's it. You feel me? Like, <laughs> that's simply what it is. How do you feel about this $1 million house in Houston? 
We're pretty impressed by the over 4,300 square feet of space and five spacious bedrooms, but it's the backyard that's really caught our eye. There's a pool and hot tub with plenty of space for relaxing. Inside, there are six bathrooms and a large master suite with sitting area. The den features a gas fireplace and the attached garage is big enough for three vehicles. Mm. Taxes okay. are a little high though, almost $23,000 per year. Mm. This spacious loft style apartment in Cleveland's historic cloak factory building costs just $949,000. There's almost 4,300 oh. square feet of space with three bedrooms and five bathrooms. It's what? all one floor with brick walls, hardwood floors, and an airy open floor plan. Taxes are high, over $22,000 per year. That's lit, but how though. could you say no to a home with so much personality? It's hard to believe. You, you know what, man? If some of these cities weren't just like, you know what I'm saying? That's lit. That's lit. That's lit. That's lit. That opened up my eyes, man. I, I always wanted one of those style, like, uh, condos, apartments, or something like that, where it just had the, the bricks exposed beams and stuff like that like the, the type of style that you see the drug dealers and all the shows and stuff live in the big open floor plans i know what i'm talking about but yeah that's crazy you can get all this for just nine hundred and fifty thousand dollars, but in indianapolis a dream home can become a reality this five bedroom five bathroom mansion is spread across seven thousand nine hundred square feet of space there are two home offices a gym home theater steam shower and custom bar you will never you see have me your own pool but it's located in a swanky neighborhood with a well-maintained and super private community you never pool. see me in a neighborhood taxes either. will cost you just under ten thousand dollars per year so your money is sure to go far this one million dollar home in boston will need a bit of work but it's packed with personality the four bedroom, three bathroom home offers 3,730 feet of space and features four ornate marble fireplaces, spectacular walnut floors, and grand 12 foot high ceilings with floor to ceiling windows. Property also taxes looks are just $8,400 per year, so you'll be able to use all the cash you save updating the historic home. According to Forbes, Detroit is the cheapest city to buy a home in the U.S. The median home price in 2020 was just $59,000. That's crazy. You know, uh, I'm one of these people. I, I put it like this, man. I need I need to see me a nice view. I need to see a nice view or have me a dope five going on, a nice backyard or something to keep my mind, you know what I'm saying, like on some relaxed chill mode because I have a, a high energy rate. And sometimes I just need to come down and just chill. That's why I love to set a vibe, set my lights right and everything. I wake up to natural lights. I'm just a vibe type person, an energy person. So I got, you know, I'm learning how to regulate my energy in different ways. I'm just mastering myself first. But look, one thing I do want to say, you know, I see a lot of people going on vacations, man. My goal is to have set up my, my goal was to always have me something where I got my vacation right in my backyard. So, you know, you can, you can save money, spend, spend time with your family and stuff like that. You know, you can just, you know, set yourself up for the future. But yeah, enough of me talking, though. Let me know where y'all would stay at after watching this video. I know some of y'all probably changed your mind just like me a couple times. I think Miami is really dope. I, I, I forgot about that Wakanda, but Miami, yeah, that's top tier. Top tier. Detroit was looking good, too. The big open floor plans, I rock with that. So, yeah. Um, but look, man, I'll see you on the next video. Appreciate y'all for making it to the end of this video. Let me know if y'all made it to the end of this video. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Make sure y'all support the links down below. And like I always say, spread love because there's too much hate in this world. Love you guys. See y'all in the next video. And I'm out though. Bye.